I appreciate it. I just hugged you. I just took two hugs to get you to shut up, eh? Okay, that's fine. But you know what? I just wanted to um say two things. Well, maybe more than two things. But one thing for sure is I've noticed that most people cannot guess my age, which is nice. I'm not going to bitch. And the other thing is I think it's important for the general public to know is that I do get angry pretty quickly. Um, I try to bite my tongue. I try to, you know, keep my manners about me when I'm out in public. But there's one time, there's one time I'm out in public, I'm actually helping my mother. She was, you know, helping out with this uh, maple, maple syrup festival out in Sunderland at the time we were living there. So that would put it somewhere around 1998, 99. And that's around maybe late, late March, early April. And so the weather was pretty good. I know I can't complain. And they shut down the town of Sunderland. And they used the main road for other vendors to show their wares. So you could buy arts and crafts, t-shirts, clothing, tidbits of all kinds, and of course food. Yummy food. So also at this one end of, the t of our street, there was a police cruiser, a car. I love cars. So my curiosity gets the better of me. And I start roaming on down closer to the cruiser. And I don't know what possessed me, but yes, I had to get close. So I'm noticing the closer I get, the more I'm noticing the officer is kind of like looking at me. Not really looking at me, but looking at me. Right? So I thought, okay, you know, is my chair okay? Is there something wrong with me? You know that look, I mean, I just don't like it when people start looking at you funny ass that way. And also, not only that, but there's a bunch of little kids milling around the car going in and out, in and out, in and out. And then the officer grabs the loudspeaker and starts, I guess, giving the kids a little bit of a lesson on the car. So when I got close enough to the car, the officer turned toward me and said, Oh, hello there, dear. How are you? And just listening to his tone, I thought, Uh-oh. He certainly doesn't think I'm older than a kid. He probably thinks I'm a kid. And I said, Hello, officer. How are you? Thinking that, you know, my mannerism and what I was saying would be an indicator that I'm not a little kid. Hi, you know, hi, officer. Now, I could have been real giddy like all the other ones, but I wasn't. And he said to me, so how are you today, dear? I said, oh, I'm feeling great. The weather's good. It's nice and warm out for this lovely March day, I think. I think it was March. So, yeah, I can't wait for summertime, officer. How are you? Oh, well, you know, dear, I can't really complain. And while he says this, he takes a step closer, and then he pats me on my head. Three times, boink, 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 on the top of my head. I thought, great, here we go. I can feel the Incredible Hulk trying to get out, and I get so annoyed when I get patted on my head. But, you know, this is a police officer, so it, mm, try not to lose it. So after I get patted on my head, he said, you got family here, dear? I said, yes, I do. There's my mother over there, my brother-in-law's over there, my sister's over there. Oh, and look, here comes my husband. And I go running over and I give my husband a kiss. I you think that was a subtle hint? That the first thing I really wanted to do the officer after patting me on the head, I so wanted to do a hit and run. <laughs> yes, 